Sade Williams from Barbados. Now, Williams has been making a huge impact in 2022, really a breakout season for her, and she has really put Barbados on the map in terms of 400 meter sprinting. We're gonna take a look back at her 2021 and 2022 because these past two years have been significant for her. And then we're gonna look forward and see what she might be capable of in 2023 as well as 2024. So let's dive in and take a look at her personal bests entering the 2021 Olympic year. In 2019, she had run 51.31 seconds in the semifinals of the Doha World Championships. Now, when she ran that personal best, she actually finished 10th place in Doha, just missing out on making the final by two positions, literally by less than three tenths of a second. She was very close to making that final, but she was only 22 years old, so she had a lot of time to go. Looking at where she stood in terms of Barbados 400 meter history, she moved to number two all time, just behind Lorna Forde, who ran 51.04 seconds back in 1978. So Williams was really coming up for that national record and I knew she was gunning for it. Taking a look at her 2021 season and what she was able to accomplish, before the Olympic Games, she was really able to progress pretty consistently. She did run 51.50 seconds in July out in Italy, so very close to her personal best. But at the Olympic Games, she really broke through. Tokyo Olympics in the heats, she ran 51.36 seconds. Again, remember, her personal best entering the year was 51.31. So her second fastest time ever, only in the heats of the Tokyo Olympic Games, in the semifinals, she absolutely destroys her personal best, 50.11 seconds in the semifinals of the Tokyo Olympics. Significant, A, because it's her personal best, B, look at where now she stood all time in terms of Barbados sprinting. She broke the national record by a, almost a full second, 50.11 to 51.04 seconds. Amazing performance to break that national record, again, by almost a full second. But looking at where that stood in terms of the 400 meters at the Olympic Games, she finished ninth place to just miss out on the final. Shonda Williams, 50.11 in the semifinals. Look at the other people who did not qualify. McGregor from Jamaica, 50.34. And then we have Artemaya from Cyprus who ran 50.80. So Shade Williams was the first person to not make the Tokyo Olympic final and she just ran a national record. Who knows what she would have ran if she made that final, but guess what? That wasn't stopping her. Going into the rest of the year in 2021, she continued that consistency. 50.77 at the Lausanne Diamond League, 50.30 at the Paris Diamond League, and then 50.24 to finish third place in the Zurich Diamond League final. This was a huge second half of the year for Williams in 2021 and boded very well for what she was gonna be able to do in 2022. Now, just taking a look at the last four performances she had in 2021 and where that stood for her in terms of Barbados sprinting, she now had the top four times in the history of Barbados. 50.11 national record, and then of course the other three performances ahead of that previous national record. Williams was very much on pace to run something fast in 2022. And guess what? She really set things off. Looking at her 2022 season, she immediately was able to replicate what she was doing the previous year. In her second meet of the year in the 400, 51.05 seconds. Remember, the previous national record was 51.04. She's already running 51.05, so just about a second off her current national record of 50.11. Then she continues to roll at the Morocco Diamond League, 50.74, so breaking 51 seconds for the first time in 2022. Remember, she never broke 50 seconds last year until the Tokyo Olympic Games in the semifinals, so for her to do it early in the season in June voted very well. Continuing on, she was able to run the Jamaican National Championships, um, you know, running 51.3 at the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. She absolutely lit the track on fire. 51.05 in the heats, 50.12 in the semifinals. At this point, she is 100th of a second off of her national record of 50.11. We already know something is coming down and it's going to be fireworks in the final. 49.75 seconds in the final, getting third place, winning that bronze medal for Barbados, the first time Barbados had ever won a 400 meter medal at the World Championships. And she took almost half a second off of her national record of 50.11 seconds. This was a huge performance and really showed that Williams was living up to the potential that she's shown in previous years. 
Well, guess what? She was not done. Just about a couple weeks later, at the Commonwealth Games out in Birmingham, England, she was able to win the gold medal in 49.90 seconds. The second time that she's broken 50 seconds. She just broke 50 seconds for the first time at the World Championships in the final. She's breaking 50 seconds once again to win the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games. She's not done. At the Monaco Diamond League, she gets third place, but 50.10. Again, super consistent below her previous national record of 50.11. Then she goes to the NACAC Championships, finishes second place behind Shawna Miller-Weibo, running 49.86 seconds. This is her second fastest time ever, her third time under 50 seconds, and that consistency just continues to show up. She's not done. She's just going to continue to roll. At the Lausanne Diamond League, 49.94 seconds, getting second place there. Another time under 50 seconds. Um, at the Brussels Diamond League, she gets second place, runs 50.15. And then at the Zurich Diamond League, third place, but 49.98 seconds. Finishes off in Zagreb. I think this was just kind of a run to just finish off the season, so nothing too crazy. But... This 2022 season was absolutely amazing for Williams. Just looking at her top performances all time in the 400 meters, all of these came from 2022, except this performance, right? Her previous national record, 50.11. Look at how many times she's broken 50 seconds. 49.7, 49.8, 49.9, then 49.9, 49.9, right? Five times under 50 seconds when she had never broken 50 seconds in her entire career entering 2022. Where did that make her stand all time in terms of the uh, Barbados sprinting? Again, national record, bringing down that national record to 49.75, um, really, really far down. And look at all time performances. She dominates this list. Remember, two years back, she didn't even have the national record. It was 51.04. Now she has a top 13 times in the history of the event for Barbados. In terms of 2022, she was number four in the world this year. She was super, super consistent. And again, she got that bronze medal at the World Championships in the 400 meters. Shada Williams really cemented herself in the 400 as one of the top athletes who's going to be contesting four global medals in 2023, in 2024, and for years to come. Also have to note, Shawna Miller-Weibo, she noted that 2022 was her final year in the 400 meters. Now, of course, there's a couple other women who are still going to be running and are going to be on William's radar, right? Paulino from Dominican Republic and also Cofield from the Dominican Republic, Kazmarek from Poland, the Jamaicans, Young and McLeod, um, even McPherson. I know McPherson is very, very experienced, um, but there's a lot of ladies, even from the United States, right? Talitha Diggs, uh, one of the top USA runners in the 400. There are a lot of ladies that Williams is going to have to contest with in the 400 100 meters, but with Miller Weibo gone, this opens up a really good opportunity for her to really excel and move up a spot. And then potentially, if she's able to consistently get faster, we might see Williams dipping into those low 49s. Who knows? Maybe even jumping into the 48s. If Paulino is any indication of what's possible, Williams can very much get into those 48 seconds in the 400 meters. So, let me know what you think of Sade Williams. Let me know what you think of her 2022 season and what she's been able to do, breaking 50 seconds, getting third place at the World Championships, winning the Commonwealth Games. Let me know what you think is possible for her going into 2023 as well as 2024 and even beyond. Do you think she's going to be able to run 48 seconds in the 400? Do you think that she's going to be able to medal at the 2023 World Championships and the 2024 Olympics? Let me know what you think. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.